The first one was the abuse of boys related to homosexual priests. Now, here's their more extended argument. Um, well, it's the same. If, if the sexual identity abuse of a minor by gender were linked, then an increase in homosexual men in the priesthood would have led to an increase in the abuse of male victims compared to female victims. Now, I want to point out to you, that's not my thesis. It's the thesis of the John Jay report. Uh, I've heard some people say, well, that's a spurious correlation. Uh, we could, if you could correlate sex abuse to lots of things, it doesn't prove anything. Well, you're welcome to make that argument. But when you make that argument, you're arguing with the authors of the John Jay report, not me. I'm taking their statement of this thesis and uh, examining it. Uh, as I said, they looked at the uh, entry of uh, homosexual identifying men into seminaries in the 1980s, which was reported widely in the media uh, and said that uh, the abuse of boys happened earlier than that. Therefore, they claim that it, the two do not correspond. However, there are some problems with their claims. And the, I'm going to point out to you what I guess uh, some would call internal problems with their claims. That is the claims presented uh, from their report. The first one is they don't know whether the expression of sexual identity in the 1980s, the entry of men claiming to be homosexual, was because there were more homosexual men coming into the seminaries in the 1980s or there were more men who were open to admitting or making it known that they were homosexual. The 1980s was a time, we all know, uh, of greatly reduced social stigma against homosexuality in our society. And a lot of folk were coming out of the closet, were I openly identifying as homosexual, uh, whereas before they would not have done so. So they admit in their report, they don't know wh whether it actually corresponded to more homosexual men. That's one problem. Uh, the second problem is, if you look at their own data closely, and this is where I wish this would work, maybe. Uh, well, there's that little, oh, there we go. Uh, it doesn't help much. But you can see these two charts. This is the 1970s, this is the 1980s. Their whole argument depends on the fact that it went up in the 1970s and then started to decline in the 1980s as homosexual men came in. But as you can see, it didn't decline in the 1980s. That's their data. They don't put that expression of data together with the argument that they made uh, some pages later that I presented to you earlier. But it seems to me that that's a problem for their claim.